हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यूर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गो टॉकिंग अबाउट इक्वेलिटी ऑपरेटर्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड सीन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर लाइक अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर कंपेरिजन ऑपरेटर बुलियन ऑपरेटर्स आर देयर बट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी द इक्वेलिटी ऑपरेटर्स इन डेप्थ सो बाय द नेम यू माइट गेस दैट इक्वेलिटी ऑपरेटर्स इज जस्ट यूज टू कंपेयर टू वैल्यूज but what goes behind the scene and how different values are being compared in the javascript engine let us see all that thing in detail so i have come back to my index.js page over here and let us start comparing the values because for that only we are here so let's say i am doing console.log and i am simply compare comparing two things theek hai and for comparing we should always use double equal to and if uh, if you guys say that by equal uh, by using single equal to also our work is done then no see if i am running this thing i am getting one error that left hand side in assignment invalid left hand side assignment so why 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 is this so see whenever uh, the operators are compared in that like the variables are compared we need to use this double equal to if we are using single equal to then javascript will consider that uh, the guy wanted to assign some variable a value okay so th this is that's that is why we are getting left hand side invalid uh, assignment okay so we should always use double equal to and triple equal to as well okay so what's the basic difference between double equal to compare and triple equal to compare so first of all let us show this and run this see i am getting true okay as we as we know that these values are equal so no issues in that so let's say if i'm changing the type of this first variable and let us compare it now see i am getting true i guess yeah i am getting true but still you might think that we this uh, left hand side variable is not a number and this two is a number so this should give me the false answer Okay, so for that we have triple equal to. So tri what does this triple equal to will do? Triple equal to will compare the data types of both variable as well. So that is why this triple equal to is used just to compare the data types. If the data types are not equal, then it will show us a error. Okay, so data types as well as values are being checked when we are using this triple equal to. The next thing that I am gonna talk about here is let's compare to string. So let's say I'm comparing Krant and another one. I'm comparing with Krant. I'm saving this thing. Let let's see how it is working. I'm running this thing and I'm getting false true. So this true, second statement is true actually. For false thing I'm getting false because we are comparing this thing using triple equal to no issues. In second place I'm getting true because Vikrant is equal to Vikrant. That is absolutely true. And how does JavaScript check whether my checks whether my two strings are equal or not uh, so uh, javascript will look from the first word till last if they are correct and first word is ma matching with first word until the last word is matching is last word so that's when uh, my result will be true if any word is missing or any word is misplaced then it will give me error let's say if i uh, put my k over here and let's try to see so it is giving me false okay so chronology must be the same okay the uh, arrangement of letter should be in the same order okay the next thing that we have over here is comparison between two arrays so let's say we are taking 1 2 3 small array and we are comparing the same array with the previous one okay see in this case i'm getting false because see every everything in javascript is in object if we try to compare two objects in javascript it will definitely give us false answer because see in javascript uh, these uh, objects are called by reference so reference basically means they if my object is not pointing out to same pointing out to same reference then it will show me error so how to compare uh, objects in javascript just to make them true if of all the values in javascript are true so in that case what i am going to do let's say see i'm going to use log and let's say first of all let us do one thing let me store my a with some object 
so one key value pair we will do here name day of town and i'm gonna copy paste the same variable with another variable name so let's say this a b and yeah so if i'm comparing a equal to equal to or single equal to like double equal to or triple equal to whatever i am talking here and let's say let's run this see it is getting me the false value but how to make this object equal because you, you can see the key values and key name they both are equals in both both a and b so how to make them equal so for that we have one property called as json dot stringify let me show you json okay J json dot stringify and in parenthesis we'll take took a and after that in json dot stringify we will took b will took b so right now if i compare this thing and let us see see i'm getting true in output but how this thing is working so what is what does this json represent and what is this stringify means see so json dot stringify is a method you can say which converts our normal javascript object into the json object right uh, so if i have to show you this thing uh, let me just do one thing see i am doing here a equal to json dot stringify a i am just stringifying a and let us see by console logging a how does it look like see i am getting my json like this so in json what happens our key whatever key is there it uh, it also get the quotes so let's say if i'm like putting quotes over here okay and i'm not json dot uh, stringify stringifying here and let us just compare normal objects over here after converting them to json see what i'm getting No, actually it doesn't work over here i guess we need to take the the same thing as previously so i think i i hope you if guys have got the idea that how to compare two objects by using this json dot stringify method okay so that's the thing and let's say if i am taking the values like class and let's say nine over here and in second place let's say class nine over here i'm saving this thing closing my output again running this thing and okay 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 i should be pass the colon over here now let us compare this thing see i'm getting true value so using this json json dot stringify method you can compare two objects to make them true otherwise if they are pointing out to different reference they will not become true they will always give us answer in false okay so that's the a uh, whole thing behind this double equal to and triple equal to operators and what is this json and what is this stringify you will uh, get to know about this json stringify in later videos no issues for that but uh, for just for your concern json is javascript object notation so you can consider json as a, a format of writing data okay so like like we have the text dot txt file so uh, just like that we have the json file as well in which the data is stored in object formats okay so that is it so i hope you guys have gotten the idea of how this equality operators work in javascript with that i take your leave and you if you haven't checked our web development playlist already it is already live on the channel do check it out and if you are new to the channel then do subscribe to our channel and please like the video if you are liking the content and also don't forget to share this content with your friends with that i will see you in next video until then bye bye